Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, this is the Rooster. Hey, guys, we are live and loud tonight. All right. So, I'm super pumped about doing this video. It's been a while, so I'm going to bring back an old familiar. Oh, yeah. It's that kind of night. I had to bring back old blue because this is going to be a long one. So, get your own blue cup, sit back in your recliner, and get ready to ride the rooster. Because that's what we're doing tonight. We are going to review an awesome, awesome knife. And we're going to take some time in doing it. So, let's get things started. And I'm going to tell you, I couldn't wait for this video to look at this knife. I, I no sooner got it in the car after purchasing it, and I cut the top off and pulled the knife out I was so pumped about it so what we got tonight is the SK Arctic signature series Les Stroud knife yes that's right Les Stroud knife so here's the packaging minus the knife um, you can see the uh, Dunham's price tag right it's $39.99 uh, it's ba it's made by and I know I'm gonna destroy this name but it doesn't matter it's made by Camelus yes uh, on the back it says lifetime warranty I didn't even know what's that from before I was just pumped about it so let's gonna I'm gonna do my usual thing we're gonna go over the things that the package says do some things and then more things so here we go uh, Carbide, uh, nothing, titanium. Um, bonded 440 stainless steel. Nice. Non stick drop point blade. Hard ballistic nylon sheath. Fire starter. Knurled steel pommel. Trail map mesh pocket. Li lifetime warranty. Last thing. Um, yeah, nothing. It just goes on about Les Stroud, and we all know who Les Stroud is. So, all right, here it is. I'd like to say boom, but I think that would be just oh, too much. So, I'm gonna take the knife out. Just give you a little, little look, little look at it before I start going over things. Um, we're going to do the sheath first, and I'm going to be brutally honest, I, I, Les Stroud is probably the first guy who got um, television attention for, you know, surviving and stuff like that. Um, you know, him and Bear Girls went neck and neck. So, very popular fella. A um, couple things I like, first thing. I think, that, I think it said uh, the molded or hard ballistic nylon, very durable. You know, I mean, it's it's right there. But then you back it up with just nylon. I'm not really a fan of that. You know, then you've just got this little nylon belt loop, um, Velcro holding the actual knife. Uh, now, anyone that's ever had velcro out in any kind of woods trail outside cutting wood doing anything outdoors hell even inside what's the first thing Ooh. so not really a fan of that not really a fan of the colors you know now I'm sure to some people they'll be like oh well you can see that out in the woods blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I don't want to see it. I want it to look good. Right? Right. This is why Old Blue came back. Alright, so. Then on the back, this little mesh pocket. It comes with a, uh, sorry about that. A little loud uh, bang. It comes with some basic survival tips and things. Same thing as the, the Bear Grylls knife, you know, I'm sure it was a little bit of copying. You know, what I could see going in there, 
um, it says trail maps, but you know, there's there's things that you could put in there possibly, you know, some uh, some tinder or something like that that makes sense. I don't know. So we got the uh, the ferro rod that comes in. Just little guy. Um, nice little handle on it though. It's got some some nubs on it. I don't know if you can hear that, but some nubs on it. One thing that I like on this, instead of the Bear Grylls knife, is it's facing upward, where the Bear Grylls is, you know, you pull it from the bottom. I just think that'd be too easy to, to lose it. So, not a 100% not a on the knife sheath. But, you know, it is what it is. Paid $40 for it, right? It's a signature series. That's, that's what it is. So, I do like the ferro rod in it. So, you know, not bad. Let's get out here and let's do the uh, blade length check. Um, I haven't sharpened anything on this. Literally went from like the package to my hand. So it looks like about four and a half inches for the blade. Total length, tip to butt, nine inches. So, not bad. When I first got a hold of this knife, it, it was almost like it was made for my hand. I, I'm, I'm not bragging this knife up, um, but it was like, wow, that feels so good in my hand. Um, right here is just so comfortable. It's like a rubberized piece. And it just feels so good. Um, it is a full tang design, so you got that. You know, everything is solid. And you on the, the end here is the the pommel. I think it's pronounced. I really like that feature um, for several things. You know, you don't want to bang up your blade. You know, if you got to hit something, very solid pommel right there. Um, Right here is the little curvature, and that, I'm believing, is for the ferro rod. So you don't mark up your blade. Um, fairly sharp. I don't really have anything close that I could um, test it out on. I don't want to make sure that I, you know, look stupid. Um, well fairly sharp just an ordinary piece of paper but you know fairly sharp um, stainless steel blade like I said earlier so you know very very happy with the knife itself uh, if I was to really be into you know this whole thing what I would do is have a custom made kydex sheath with a ferro rod holder that's how I would go forward with this but all right so we kind of went over some specs and things like that and you've heard me talking and I'm thirsty again so let's go ahead and take this baby outside and put it through its paces guys well we're outside um, we're gonna do some uh, testing on this knife and see how it holds up so first thing is we'll uh, get you a little bit of a closer look at everything I know I showed you inside but it's always nice to get a little bit of a closer look at things okay so first thing we're gonna do is batoning uh, got a nice well probably three inch around log that I went and got yesterday just for these purposes so Try that one more time. Very, very easy going through. Not even really hit that hard. So, does pretty good at Batana. It's, uh, it's got that pommel I talked about on the top there, so.
Sorry, we got the, the living in the trailer park noise. through that but the best thing about that is go back up and we split it so as far as the tonning not too bad um, one more thing I was gonna try is uh, it's got the pommel on the top I'm just gonna try and bang in a nail Goes in pretty good. Get it down there. So, all right. So, not too bad. Um, last thing we're gonna do, and uh, it's probably my favorite part. It's a little bit windy out here. So first, I'm gonna try and light this dryer lint on fire. Um, that's what I use. So. Or that's what we're gonna go with. I'm not uh, you know, gonna do it with a bow drill or nothing like that. Just, I use fire, you know, ferro rods, so that's what we're gonna use. All right. Well, we're gonna give it a shot. Oops. Now well, we're getting spark. We're not getting much else. I know a couple people are laughing right now, mainly Blackhawk, but uh, ah. there we go, there we go. Well, didn't get it the first try, but sure as heck got it, and that would have uh, saved some lives right there. So, all right, we're going to go back inside and wrap this review up, guys. Come on in. Oh, hey, we're back in. Getting a little sip on that. All right, so kind of went off a little um, of my, uh, oh, how do you say it? I, I always lose my words. Maybe it's what's in this class. I've always done that. Script. That's the word I was looking at. I went off my script a little bit when I was outside. Um, I wanted to do a few more things, but I got laughing and the people outside, and I was just, it didn't work out. But I hope that it showed you enough <laughs> what it can do and things like that. So, you know what? It is a good knife. You know, for $39.99, I recommend, you know, someone that's, uh, maybe brand new to outdoors things, products and stuff like that. Get your kid around, get a knife. It's a, it's a solid knife. You know, get it around and then upgrade. You know, you've got your Blind Horse Knives, you got the Pathfinder Knife, I think it's, it's made by Blind Horse Knife. You know, there's so many knives out there that you can upgrade to. Start off small. You know, as far as um, comparing this to the Bear Grylls one. I don't own that Bear Grylls one. I'm sure it's it's nice too. These guys are putting their name on it. <laughs> They're making less is probably making half of what I spent on this. So good for him. You know, I'm, I'm glad for him. But uh, overall, guys, I think the knife itself is perfect. The sheath is lacking uh, in a lot of things. Um, but, you know, it's give and take on things like this. Still happy I purchased it. I'm gonna. I'm. What I'm gonna do with this knife is just kind of put it in my collection, and uh, go with what I have. So, you know, I want to give some shout-outs real quick. Um, Blackhawk, Goose Killer. Um, I know I'm gonna forget a whole bunch of people. I want to thank um, my camera crew, uh, people that are subscribing to me. Uh, keep watching. Yeah. Uh, 
I hope you all like my videos. Um, to my whole family, thanks a lot, everyone. And as always, guys, thanks for watching my videos to Rooster. Have a good one.